you guys doing? It's your boy, The Boss. Start back with another one. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my um, my nighttime, you know, method for waves, my nighttime routine and stuff I do at nighttime because I know like if you guys work or play sports or anything, you know, you're going to throughout your day, your hair is going to be all probably frizzy looking and, you know, I'm kind of over exaggerating, but you never know. I mean, your hair might be looking like this. You never know. So especially if you play sports. But anyway, my nighttime routine is... You know, basically what I'll do is I'll do the lock method called the LOC, LOC method. And I heard this method. My wife's the first one that told me about it, like a uh, liquid oil cream. So the things that I'll use is I'll use water as my liquid, you know, to get your hair like really wet. So water, you just spray a little water and everything. And then the oil, the Africa's best ultimate herbal oil. It can be any type of oil. It really doesn't matter. Just just make sure you guys have the oil. That's really good for your hair. It gives it shine and you know all that good stuff. And then I'll use um, curl enhancing smoothie. You don't have to use this, but you guys can just use a good cream, whatever works for your hair. It honestly doesn't matter. You know, I know you guys hear it all the time. People try to tell you what, you know, what type of stuff to use, but whatever works for your hair the best, and you guys will know more than we will know. And also the silky do rag. You, you want a silky do rag because that's a necessity, I believe. It really is a necessity. So. And I'll link all this stuff down below also. So you guys just check out the links below if you want any of this stuff. But basically I'll just spray it with water. Like I said, I have really dry hair. I know you guys heard me say this in the other of my videos that my hair is dry. So a lot of times I'll spray a good amount of water. I mean, it's free guys, water's free, you know what I'm saying? So just use up that water. You know, don't be afraid to put your foot in it. So like I said, the lock method, that's how you guys can remember this. Like what to put in first, what to apply in your hair first, lock method. Always remember LOC, lock. So that was my liquid, right? So then I have my oil. And like I said, the Africa's best ultimate herbal oil, you know? So I'll just dump it in my hands like this a little bit. You know, you guys can use however much you want. You know, but usually I'll put a good amount of oil in my hair also. Put it on my hands, you know, rub it in really good. Apply it to your hair, just in the top sides and some in the back and then I'll put a little bit more in there because usually, usually by the time I try to get to the back of my hair my the oil is ran out of my hands so get some more on there put it in the back <clears throat> okay and then the final step don't forget about this don't not forget about this and another thing you do not have to apply curling anti smoothing your hair every day I mean if you want to put oil in there every day just to give it that shine I would suggest doing this. This is what I do a lot of times, but I usually pick curling anti smoothie in my hair, maybe, to be honest, maybe every few days. Because once you spray that water in your hair, you're still going to see that the curling anti smoothie is still soaked into your hair a lot of times, if you have hair like me at least. And I have probably medium texture. So, but if I can get this over, my hands are kind of greasy. <laughs> I'm struggling. But, okay, I got it. So, curling anti smoothie. I mean, you don't need a whole lot. I usually just dip my finger in there. And I'll probably use more than this, but a good amount, about, the, about like that. And I'll rub it in my hands. Make sure you rub it in your hands because you don't want it all in one spot of your head. You know, like a big fat white spot in one spot. So, rub it in your hands really good. It'll look like white paint. And just rub it in there, just like this. Make sure you're applying it in every area of your hair. A little bit on the left. Try to get them edges. Like the girls would say, not the edges. Make sure you're getting the, hitting them edges. You know, you don't want the edges to be dry. And then, just apply it everywhere, like I said, you know. And then usually by this time, honestly, my hair would have been done, got dried again. Like I said, I have dry hair for some reason. My hair just soaks up product. So usually I will spray a little bit more water again as the final step. So for my step, I would say L-O-C-L for me. You guys have heard of that L-O-C-L, you know? So you can you guys can use it, it's totally fine. L-O-C-L. So spray that in there. Make sure you get that good brush session in. Usually every night, just to lay everything down, you know, I'll just brush it really good. I'll just brush it really good, try to hit your angles right, 
you know. I mean, honestly, while I'm sitting right here, I can't see exactly the angles that I'm brushing my hair from. Cause usually I have to have like another mirror like behind me or something, but I'm just gonna do it from my, to my best ability right now. But make sure when you guys are brushing, you're hitting your angles right also. Cause if not, it's gonna create forks. So I'm just gonna try my best just to, hopefully I'm brushing my hair the right way. Brush it really good. And then usually I would brush it for a good 15 to 20 minutes. I know people say an hour, like if you're just starting off, you honestly do want to get close to an hour brushing your hair. But if you, if your waves are in there really good and you can see them and your waves are developing even better over time, you could probably do it a good 15 to 20 minutes. That's what I do. But when I first started off, I was definitely putting in brush work. Everywhere I, everywhere I went, my brush was in my pocket with me. So I carried it everywhere on me. You know, you have to fall in love with your brush. You just bring it everywhere. Just don't forget. Just like I'm sure you wouldn't leave the house without your driver's license. So don't leave your the house without your brush. So just keep brushing, keep brushing. And then I don't have my plastic bag on me, but basically with um, the plastic bag, you just put your hand in it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'll do. It can be any type of plastic bag, a Ziploc bag. Put it in your hand and just go over your waves just like the same way that you're brushing. And honestly, the plastic bag, it does help lay down your hair. So you just kind of just like, just like I'm showing you, just pretend like I have a plastic bag on man. Okay, guys, just pretend. Just make believe. But just go like that. You know, it's easy, you know? And then after that, your hair should be really good and laid down. And, and then final step, you're ready for your do-rag. Just put it on there. And then make sure that seam things on the outside, honestly, you know, because if not, you will have a fat line in the middle of your head. And I'm sure you guys don't want that. So make sure this little seam part is on the outside. And I'll just put that behind my ears. Then I will wrap this around back here. And then do this. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but make your straps wide like this. And then this part's gonna be sticking up, so pull that down back there in the back. And then hold this with your hand. Hold that, pull that side. And then just do the same thing with the other side. Just wrap it around. And I'll just tie it, tie in the back, and you guys know the rest. I mean, it's not rocket science. If you guys know about do-rags, I'm pretty sure you know how to tie it. And this is just preference. You know, it doesn't really matter. And you can also roll it up in the back. Sometimes I'll do that just for a little extra style so it doesn't look like you have this big tongue just hanging back there, you know. Especially if you got those one do-rags where this part's just super long. And it's just holding down like, you know, Cinderella or whatever that cartoon is with the really long hair. I don't really know, but. But anyway, that's it, you guys, you know? And then wake up in the morning, you know, you can brush it a little bit again and do it all over again, but that's it. So, but anyway, if you guys like this video, hit that like and subscribe, turn on notifications. And like I said, I will link all the products that I use down below in the comment section. And I'll link this water bottle too, so you guys can see where to get one of these cool, cool spray bottles. See, look at that. That's, that's a nice water bottle for you. You ain't gotta keep sitting there and just keep pressing the button like those other water, water bottles. It just, it's like automatic, it's like a little mist. Pretty cool. If you guys wanna donate, I have a Patreon down below that you can donate to. I mean, all donations are appreciated. If you guys donate through Patreon, you guys can see the, uh, my videos before anybody else, like a day ahead. And you can see behind the scenes like bloopers, but God bless you guys and I'm out.